Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus for the Game Boy Advance. We completed the first stage of Feudal Japan in the last video, and now we are going to play stage 2, which is a boss. Or a mini boss, depending on how you want to see it. I am going to use Mikey for this one, because, well, I actually had a little bit of success with him. So let's go ahead and stop mincing words and wasting time and fight this dude so we have a duel here this guy turns to a dragon we have one health upgrade or not upgrade but rather refill that we can use to our advantage so for the first stage of this the boss bounces off the walls and after you hit him at least once he goes to the center of the room and Flies around in a circle like that. Apparently you don't have to hit him for him to do that. You just have to give him enough time. And he's going to come back to the uh, center of the room eventually. And when he does, I'm going to hurt him. Or he could just be in a circle on the outs out away from the center. That works. And I got too close to him. I didn't expect him to be there while I was charging. So, you could basically fight this guy with any turtle, more or less. I just like using Mikey for this, because one, that's how I do I use in the practice run, and two... You can hit him from a good distance away with a charge-up throw move. And there is also that. And I didn't expect to hit him that way. Let's go ahead and get the thing there. I didn't expect him to do that either. Apparently you can kind of stay like between where he bounces and you can hit him with a normal attack that way. Also when he's doing the, uh, oh now he's doing the split in the three thing. Get out of there. I wonder. I can't hit him with that. Well, apparently you can kind of get him to bounce in front of you. And you can hit him that way. That's what I like to do with this. That's what I want to do with this. But I kind of got overpowered there. That's probably the hardest part of the battle there. The part where he splits into three because it's really tough to get away from the boss when that happens. And I managed to get two. Come on! I'm trying to dock! And I tried to hit him there and I couldn't do it. Okay. Yeah, he's going to a, a circle there. So let's try this again. So the second part, as I was saying for the second phase of this, you can stay between where he bounces. You can kind of get in the bounce above you at all times. And if that happens, you can just kind of hit him with normal strikes, making it a little bit easier. You can still kind of do that with the third phase. Well, at least I hit him. That's the important thing. Okay. He's going to do the thing again. Oh, he's going to do that thing again. So, trying to do damage on this... Or he can do that. And apparently we bowed down to this guy. I don't know exactly who that is, but apparently he's important enough to be bowed down to and given respect. So apparently if I hit all three of the dragons at one time, I can more or less finish that boss off. That's what it looks like anyway. 
Also, it's a good thing that I kept my health high, too. Oh, yeah, and once you beat the boss, you can pick up all ten crystals. You want to run across the room so that you get them all. Should mention that, too. I'm pretty sure I was going to mention something, but now I can't remember what that was. Oh, yeah, um, the boss flashes blue when you hit the boss. And you have to wait for the boss to stop flashing blue before you can hit the boss again. That probably should be mentioned. Also, this is going to be a short one because I expected to lose a zillion times. Just because of the third part of the boss. But nope, I managed to luck out. I managed to beat the boss on the second try and get all the crystals and continue on to stage three. So... Join me next time for Stage 3 of Feudal Japan. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!